This property sensor watches the property health and when it's equal to zero, it sends a signal through an AND gate to a scene actuator that sets the scene to the death scene. I'm going to close up these logic bricks and I'm going to add a new scene by clicking the plus, new, and I'm going to call the new scene, end scene. I'm going to go back to the game scene and I'm going to add a property sensor and an AND gate and a scene actuator. I'm going to set the property sensor to watch the property score. When it's equal to 3, when the Android's collected all the Coke cans, it will send a signal through the AND gate to the scene actuator that will set the scene to be the end scene. I'm going to change the layout to the default layout. I'm going to change the scene to our new end scene. I'm going to toggle quad view. I'm going to view top. And I'm going to add mesh plane. I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines in the top right hand corner and I'm going to open up a new window and change it to be a UV image editor. I'm going to open and image the end splash screen. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. I'm going to change uh, the ratio of the height and width of the plane, so I'm going to its properties. Uh, the image is 800 by 600, which is a ratio of 4 wide to 3 high. Now I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel and move that back a bit. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to go to the mesh menu, UV unwrap, unwrap. I'm going to click the little minus here to hide the menu so that I can get at edge select and I'm going to select this edge, press G to grab and X for the X direction to move it over. Now the mapping is upside down so I'll click the plus here to get the menus back and make sure you select all the edges first so I'm pressing A twice to select all the edges. I'm going to UVs Mirror at X axis, UVs menu, mirror Y axis. I'm going to go back into object mode and I'm going to click the materials button and I'm going to add a new material to the plane. I should name it something meaningful, but for speed, I'm going to click, go straight to the texture button and I'm going to add a new texture which will be of type image or movie. Uh, click both there and pick up the splash screen image and we just need to change the coordinates to UV. Uh, the plane has the material and the texture. I'm going to close the UV image editor window by dragging on the white diagonal lines. I'm going to toggle into quad view. I'm going to zoom back and pan up in the front view. I'm going to add a camera to the scene and I'm going to view cameras set active object as camera and then I'm going to move the camera up using the 3D manipulator widget, the tip of the blue arrow and move that till I've got the camera pointing at the image. I'm going to go back to game logic layout. I'm going to change the scene to the end scene. I'm going to add some logic bricks to the plane. So I select the plane and I'm going to add a keyboard sensor, an AND gate, and a game actuator. The keyboard sensor will sense the press of all keys, any key, and that will send a signal through the AND gate to the game actuator, which will quit the game. Now if I go back to the game scene and start the game engine and collect the Coke cans, When I get to the third Coke can, we should go to the splash screen and then when I press any key, it quits out the game. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file, the gravestone file, the splash screen file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.